Um, hi, uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, welcome to the talk, uh, New Compact Vulnerabilities in Linux Device Drivers. Uh, this is just a, a 25 minutes talk, so just ignore the schedule outside. Um, my name is Chen Fu, and that is my colleague Peng Fei. Uh, we are security researcher and developers at Baidu X Lab. Uh, we have been focused on uh, mobile IoT and Linux kernel security. Uh, our major work is uh, developing security solutions for Baidu's AI uh, platforms. Uh, besides that, we also do some security researches, uh, including finding vulnerabilities in Linux kernel and device drivers. Uh, in last year, Peng Fei and I got more than 30 uh, Linux kernel and device driver CVEs. Uh, this is our agenda. First, uh, we will introduce the concept of Compact and the security risks of Compact. Then, we will introduce some Compact vulnerabilities found in the past few years. And we will introduce how we found a new type of Compact vulnerabilities in Linux device drivers. After that, we will give some uh, advices and mitigations to developers and security researchers. At last, we will have some conclusions. Okay, let's start. Compat is the 32-bit compatibility mode in 64-bit Linux kernels. On a 64-bit Linux system, when the 32-bit user, a user space program makes a system call, the compat version of the system call entry is used instead of the, sorry, instead of the original 64-bit system call entry. In general, the reason that Linux kernel use compact mode system call is to handle the differences in the data sizes. As we know, many system calls have par parameters with different sizes in 32-bit and 64-bit uh, system. For example, a structure parameter in a syscall may have a pointer type or a long type uh, field in it. Their size are platform dependent. So, when the 32-bit user space program makes a system call and passes um, parameters into kernel, compact mode system call will first convert the values of these parameters into corresponding 64-bit values. This is an example of set time of day syscall. On the left side, there is the 64-bit system call. On the right side, there is the compact mode system call. We can see on the left that the user time value structure is directly copied into kernel time value structure using copy from user. And on the right, we can see that the type of user parameter, which is compact time value, and the kernel structure, which is time value, they are different. So the compact version uses a function called compact get time value to convert user compact time value structure to kernel time value structure. Also from this case, we can notice that there are duplicate, du duplicate codes in these two functions. We can see that uh, this part of codes are uh, the same. So from this example, we can notice some uh, potential security risks of compact code. The first security risk is code redundancy. Actually, code redundancy is common in many compact mode system call implementations in Linux kernel, which means two similar copies of code and data structures need to be maintained. With no doubt, these maintenance efforts introduce more security risks. And furthermore, compared to original 64-bit system calls, their compact counterparts usually have some additional definition of data structures and additional type uh, type conversion and additional uh, data processing logic, uh, which e expose new attack surfaces to user mode processes. In the past few years, uh, there are some but not too many compact vulnerabilities has been discovered. Almost all of them are found in device drivers. Uh, we think there are two reasons. First, compared to the number of system calls, the number of device drivers are much more. And secondly, 
device drivers usually have to handle more complex data structures than normal system calls. And the most uh, common root cause uh, of these vulnerabilities is the inconsistency between compact and non-compact mode. There are two types of inconsistency. Uh, the first is the inconsistency of data structure definition. And the second one is the inconsistency of user input validation logic. Let's see some examples. This is an example of inconsistency of data structure definition. In this case, the left one, MDP layer commit v132, is the 32-bit user space data structure, while the right one, MDP commit v1, is the corresponding 64-bit kernel space structure. The two structures have almost the same definition, making it seems easy to convert. However, the array field, we can see that that array field reserved in these two structures have different size. This should have been the same, but developer made a mistake. So the one in the left is larger than the one in the right. And then when kernel calls mem copy to copy data from the larger one to the smaller one, there's a stack overflow. And in this case, we can see the inconsistency of user input validation logic. This function EEP ROM init config32 is the compact mode version of function EE2 EEP ROM init config, uh, which is not shown in this code snippet. And uh, the EEP ROM init config function uh, correctly validates user input. Well, we can see that this compact mode version does not validate which leads to a uh, heap overflow. So the patch, we can see that, is simply adding validation logic on it. And in this case, a function called is compat task is used to implement both compat and non-compat uh, logic in one function. This can reduce some code redundancy, but still can't el uh, eliminate the inconsistency. So in this function, when implementing compact logic, uh, the developer forgets to uh, validate the user space pointer, um, power setting iter, and its size sets down, which leads to um, out of bounds array access. Um, based on our research on those past compact vulnerabilities, we found that the past research on compact vulnerabilities only focuses on normal program logic. So this vulnerabilities looks just like any other vulnerabilities in any other part of the kernel. Uh, seems nothing special. But during the research on those vulnerabilities, we went deep into many device drivers code. And we found that in device drivers, compat and non-compat codes are usually mixed together, making the whole program logic very complex, even confusing. So we came up with a question. Can this mixed codes cause some unexpected program logic, even causing some security problems? Uh, then my colleague Peng Fei will introduce uh, our research and finding. Hello, I'm Peng Fei Ding. Let's continue. As we know, our control is the most commonly used interface in device drivers. So our research mainly focused on our control. This is a simple our control flowchart in device drivers. As we know, our control have three parameters. The first is file descriptor. The second parameter command is the device dependent request code. The third parameter is a pointer to use memory. Usually, it points to a structure. The struct type depends on specific device drivers and uh, commands. When 64-bit process invokes our control, it passes 64-bit version of parameters to kernel. Then kernel will invoke unlocked our control 
with these 64 bit volume of user parameters. One 32 bit process invokes our control. It passes 32 bit volume of parameters to kernel. Kernel will invoke compile our control instead. In device drivers, we define the three kind of our control command parameters. Command 32 are used by only 32 bit programs. Command 64 are used by only 64 bit programs. And uh, some common commands can be used by both 32 bit and 64 bit programs because the corresponding data structures, the third out control parameters are the same on 32-bit and 64-bit platforms. After analyzing many different device drivers code, we summarized this typical detailed flowchart of our control in device driver implementations. In most device drivers, no matter compared or non or non compared mode, their functionality are the same. So compared our control and uh, unlock the our control both con some common codes to implement uh, their some functionality. And uh, the most important difference between compact out control and uh, unlocked out control is compact out control has one extra step. It needs to convert 32 bit version of the parameters to 64 bit version. Compact our control will make a conversion according to the value of command 32. So we had a fresh idea. What if we intentionally confuse compact our control parameters with the unlocked our control parameters? Will it affect the behavior of the conversion that's causing security problems? Then we listed the following six conditions with confused parameters and tried to verify whether they have a security problem. First, we found the unlocked out control does not have a conversion behavior. In number four and number five, when you pass a Command 32 to unlock the out control, it will be filtered. So number four and number five are ruled out. Second, in number six, when you pass a P structure 32 with a command 64, our control call will return file directly because the size of structure pointed by P structure 32 is less than what the kernel needs. So number six is ruled out. At the last, processing logic of P structure parameter in our control depends on the value of command. So we ignore the variable P structure, only focusing on how changes of the second parameter command will affect our control. So number three is equivalent to compact our control with command 32 and p structure 32 parameters, which is the normal case. So we just needed to focus on the safety of compact our control with 64 bit command.
Then we anal analyze the many device drivers, try to find what behavior will be triggered if we pass command 64 and uh, carefully constructed malicious pitch parameters. In some of them, we found uh, when command 64 is passed to compact our control as its second parameter, the check and uh, confirm will be bypassed. Then, with carefully constructed malicious piece structure parameters in some of common, common codes, we, we managed to trigger kernel vulnerabilities. So we wanted to discover more vulnerability by fading. Existing Linux syscall fading tools, including Trinity and Syscaller, do not support Compact. So we added Compact support on Trinity and Syscaller, then use them to fast the device driver. As expected, we discovered more vulnerabilities. Here I summarize the four security issues that uh, can cause uh, by this type of compact vulnerabilities. Since this logic vulnerability causes check and uh, conversion on user input being bypassed, malicious user input could cause several security problems depending on behaviors being bypassed. By passing verification on user input arrays can lead to out of bounds read and write to this array, thus causing privilege escalation. By passing verification on user input point value can lead to arbitrary memory read, thus causing information leakage. Compact alloc user space is used to allocate user space memory in kernel. Cam alloc is used instead of it for check and conversion, which can increase the operations on kernel memory, thus increasing the security risk when check and conversion is bypassed. Using is compact task in common codes to deal with compact mode and 64-bit mode. It is easy to cause logic confusion. Ignoring the security audit of the compact code in common codes and it is more likely to cause security problems when bypassing check and conversion. Here, I list the two CVE we found to further illustrate this vulnerability type. In the left diagram, the second step processes the 32-bit command, including check and convert user, user input. If we pass directly its corresponding 64-bit command, the valid end of user space pointer checked by copy from user will be bypassed. So it can be assigned to any value by user, resulting in arbitrary address access when using mem copy. This is the second example. In the left diagram, the second step processes the 
32-bit command. Copy from user checks user space point. If we pass directly to its corresponding 64-bit command, the validation will be bypassed. This pointer can be signed to any value, resulting in arbitrary address access when it is dereferenced in the third step. Here, we summarize the three tips to mitigate the compared vulnerability. Try to use compared alloc user space instead of chemalloc during entire user input check and uh, convert and, and the conversion. Avoiding security problems caused by direct operation on kernel memory. Try to avoid using its compact task in common codes to deal with the compact code and 64-bit mode, which may cause logical confusion and security problems. We can use compact alloc user space to help com convert the user, user parameters from compact mode to 64-bit mode. Then proceed in common code so as to avoid using its compact task. Try to use struct instead of pointer in user input to minimize validate validation of user of user input. Trading space for efficiency and security. This is our three advices. Development and test engineers should strengthen the testing and auditing of compact code. Fast tools and code auditing tools should give more attention to compact code. Security researchers can continue to explore compact attack on uh, more platforms. Through this speech, I hope to help you understand the concept and the security risks of compact, as well as some compact vulnerabilities in the past. More important, we I identified a new type of compact vulnerabilities in Linux device drivers, which had not been discovered by any others before. At last, I wanted to show you how to discover this kind of vulnerabilities and how to avoid them in development. Thank you. Any questions? Okay.